Historically, you know, California has been the world leader in cults for a very long time, um, mm. and I would say that has not stopped, and, and that continues. You know that the building that I bought for my comedy club initially was owned by a cult? Fantastic. It was owned by a cult from West Hollywood called the Buddha Field okay. that migrated out to uh, Austin when they were being investigated by the uh, Cult Awareness Network. There are a bunch that are running right now that are successful? Big time. Yeah, totally. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Do you know them? There's cults all over the place. I know a bunch of them. Yeah. Some of them are older. There's two sort of groupings. There's this sort of 60s cults that are still kind of running. Like, um, like which ones? Uh, there's, what is it? There's one called The Family in like Southern California that's still going from the 60s. There was a big cult for a long time, so Esalon, um, you oh, know, so there's, yeah. there's still like that that whole orbit. And then there were a bunch of sort of tech cults in the 80s and 90s with names like the Extropians. More recently, there's a lot of this like rationalist, post-rationalist, uh, effective altruism, yes. uh, existential risk, uh, long-termism, they sometimes say. Um, and what you find is the people, again, the people associated with East tend to be very smart 